Hey guys, I'm back with a Halo action figure review. Um, as you can see, this is the Chieftain, who hasn't seen this figure. <laughs> um, really happy with this Chieftain. It's really nice. Um, I think I the only thing I don't like about this figure. Well, I'll go over that later. Anyway, uh, well, he's way too big for the camera. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got uh, oh, this is a really detailed figure. Um. Oh, what to go over? Okay. Uh, ball jointed feet, but be careful, make sure it's lined up, you know, so you don't snap it off. Did that with my friend, so I had to purchase his, but I didn't have a problem. Uh, hinged, uh, knees. Um, oh, that's weird. Why is that there? Okay. Um, forgot about that. Uh, oh, he's got a lot of articulation right here in the leg, like, he's got, like, three of them right in a row, so I don't know what to call that. It's all, like, swivel ball jointed weird shit. Um, uh, ball jointed, uh, waist. Oh, these are hips, aren't they? That's what they call them on the reviews I keep on watching. Duh. Okay. Um, hinged, uh, for, uh, arms, elbows, I mean. Uh, ball jointed, uh, arms, but they're really hard to move, so. And then, uh, ball jointed hands. Really cool. Okay, uh, take off his hammer. This this hammer actually stays on no matter what, man. Look at that. Oh, I hate doing that, though. I don't want to break him just in case. All right, yep. His hammer stays on pretty good. And how you take off this hammer, uh, see that thing? It's a little the end piece of the hammer, which has good detail. Um, this little uh, stem right here goes into the whole the end piece, and then you have a hammer. Hammer has a lot of detail. I like this. I put it in the back of a Spartan once. The peg hole is, I believe, right there. I can't see. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, cool. A lot of detail. I like this a lot. The hammer is like the most favorite thing about this action figure. <laughs> I mean, the action figure is so awesome. But anyway, um, you got a helmet, as you all know. You play the games like, oh, it makes them look like a rhino, really brutish. That's why they're called brute stuff. Anyway, uh, Really cool. He's got that little screaming look, like he's all like, "I'm gonna kill you." He kind of looks like I'm pissed off. That's awesome. Um, and anyway, he's got a peg hole in the back for the hammer, and he has uh, the peg hole in the hammer, of course. Uh, the peg hole I noticed for one of my, cause I bought two brute chieftains, and then I gave one to my buddy, and then he gave it back, cause I. He didn't want it, and I wanted it again, but I didn't want it. Well, I'll explain that part later. I didn't want it for another brute chieftain. Right, here's him with the hammer. Oh, I gotta back that shit up. Okay, here's him with the hammer on his back. It's real cool. Oh, they are just sitting around. Oh, look at that. And you know, sometimes there's more weight, but then I gotta just push it in and just make sure it stays. Or not. Oh, there. See? Guess you gotta get in position and just make sure it stays. Or you get thicker pegs. Some bags are bigger than others. All right, and then uh, here's another thing I found. Uh, it's a peg hole in the back of his leg. Uh, yeah, see it? And then his other leg does not have a peg hole. So, kind of weird. I guess it's for grenades or whatever. And that's supposed to be on this, I believe. But whatever. Still cool. Um, details on this guy is amazing. Um, Oh, uh, they caught all the orange on him and stuff. Wish my camera wasn't so low to the ground for this action figure. I didn't know I was going to turn out like this, but I'm not going to redo this review because I'm a lazy. Yeah. I mean, oh, and they got all these pipes coming up there. I don't know what that's for. So if you go on Wikipedia, you find that kind of stuff out, but I'm not going to explain that kind of stuff. I'm into that stuff, the books and stuff. I read the books. I'm a complete Halo nerd when it comes to Halo. I love it. Star Wars, that's something else. I just like Clone Troopers. Clone Wars. That's cool stuff. Otherwise, anything else. I may read, like, one book if I have to for reading class or whatever. Just a short 80-paged little kid one. Yeah. So I could get through the book fast. Because last time I was reading my Halo book and I didn't get to finish it because I like reading it slow. Alright, enough about my personal life. <laughs> Alright, what? I, let's get to the hammer, what I don't like about him. Uh, I don't like about this figure... And the hammer is, uh, here. Oh, yeah, and his hand, this hand right here, it's a full circle. Like, you could cut open, I mean, his, uh, 
his hands are like stuck together like they're like made they're made like that like you can't separate them it's not that they're so close together they're actually connected so they're sculpted that way there or molded whatever you want to call it and I, uh, I don't like about this figure no uh, in the game you can pose him when he's like his hammer's ready to throw and stuff he's not really flexible with his hammer you can't get him in a lot of poses with the hammer I mean I don't mind that of course like I'm I gotta explain everything about this figure like even if they could improve that, I don't mind. Still a cool figure, don't get me wrong. I don't care what defects. If it's a Halo figure, it kicks ass. Like, one of the worst Halo figures, what I'm going to review soon, is the drone. I hate the drone. Because it totally broke up. I'll explain it on the review itself. But anyway, can't get him in a lot of poses with this. Can't really do much with him. Oops. I'm going to have to glue that piece back on. Pushed it in too much. No problem. That happened to Johnson. I have Johnson. I'll do his review way later though, because I'm doing the waves in a row. I mean, in order. So it's going to take a while to get Johnson's review in here, but his uh, belt thing, like something strapped to his belt, some sort of ammo pack or something, it came off. I was like, oh, come on. So so I got to glue that back on. I didn't get wrong to it yet. Somewhere in here, but I'll show you it to you. Take the sniper rifle. That, that came like that in the box. That sucked. Anyway, uh, helmet does not come off like, you know, the other brutes, like the stalker, falls off really easy. And I can't get him in a lot of poses with this hammer. I don't mind that, you know, like I said a million times, I keep on repeating it. But, really cool figure. Um, get this figure, no matter what. This is a cool figure, and if you have Master Chief, it, it like, you know, rivals, kind of, compares, you know what I mean? Like, get them standing next to each other here. I review Master Chief figure next anyway, so my other just really cool. And that's a size difference. They really sized up the brute real well. I like that. Makes them look real good together. Makes them look like oh there it goes the belt, see that? Just push that to the side for now. And they look real good together, so get this uh this two. They came in a two pack I remember, but anyway. I bought them separate. Alright, that's it for the review of the brute. I'll see you guys later, and I'll update you if I do fix the thing. I won't show you it again, I'll just tell you if I fixed it. Okay, bye.